Hi everybody, my name is Sophie Walker and welcome to the How Did I Do Golf Tour. Today we're at Hillside Golf Club, situated on the finest stretch of coastal links in England. We're in the northwest of England and we're in Southport, sunny Southport. I'm going to show you around the golf club, the clubhouse, meet a few of the staff and show you some of the changes on the golf course. But to do that, I need to play some golf. So let's head to the first tee and play a few holes. I always say, make sure you warm up, make sure you practice to everybody that I teach. When you've got a facility like this, it makes you want to come and practice. A grass driving range, as well as a little short game area. Now the first tee is right next to the clubhouse. Everybody can see you tee off. Now there's a railway down the left hand side which leads you to Liverpool and bunkers down the right. It's 390 yards. It's a very daunting tee shot. I find straight holes so difficult to shape. Come on Soph, let's get a good one away. There has been a recent redesign here at Hillside and you can see the sand dunes by the side of the first. There's now some definition between the first and the ninth fairway. And also when you look down 18, the front nine is the flatter nine, but these dunes are giving it much more definition. That's the first hole safely out of the way. Now let's go check out the rest of the course. Second hole, the train line on the left, and so is Southport and Ainsdale Golf Club. Now this tour is of Hillside Golf Club, so don't hook it, so. Oh, look at that, a little fade off the train, off the 950 train to Southport. The second phase of the redesign is really emphasised on this fourth hole. Par three, it's unrecognisable from when I was here last year. You walked off the third up onto a tee. They've taken out a lot of, of trees and rough down the left hand side and put in these featured bunkers. It looks like a totally different golf hole. The bunkers on the right hand side by the green are still the same, but the walk from the tee to the green. It's so different. Unfortunately, it's closed at the moment. As you can see, there's water in it and the redesign is in full force. But I can't believe how much it's changed. It looks amazing. Having hosted the British Masters in 2019, Hillside have succumbed to the distance debate and They've got a tee now, a hole at 562 yards, this fifth hole. As you walk off the fourth green, you used to walk forward. Now you have to walk sideways and back. They've opened up some dunes to a water path. I've never seen this before, ever. In the winter, it'll be wet. In the summer, it'll be dry. And it's over 200 yards carry to the fairway. This is now a really strong par five. It's bouncing, it's on dry land. On the seventh hole, we start to see the trees, which are much more prominent on the back nine. It's a short par three. I've got a story for you. British Masters Pro-Am, I caddied for my friend Naga Munchetti. I coach her as well. And for once, she listened to me. I said, always club up on this hole. You want to, the bunkers are short, you want to get over them. So we swapped clubs, I gave her a different club and she hit it to 10 feet. She won closest to the pin. She said, come on, read this putt for me. I read the putt, I misread it, and she missed the birdie putt. <laughs> but maybe that's because the green has been slightly redesigned. It's come away from the trees a little bit more to the right. So I'm blaming that, not my green reading skills. Right, should I be a caddy or should I be a player? We'll see. It 
it's still in there somewhere. I've reached the halfway house, I'm basking in the Southport sunshine. Just a reflection on the front line and the changes that have been made. It adds a lot of depth to the holes. The bunkering, it looks like these holes and this design has been here forever, not just a few months. It reminds me a lot of abandoned dunes, which is never a bad thing. Now I'm gonna go on to the 10th tee. The back nine at Hillside, it's world famous. Greg Norman described it as the best back nine in Britain and I can't wait to try it out. Now Hillside has never hosted an Open Championship, but it has hosted Open Qualifying, and that's where I've played here before. For such a short par three of only around 130 yards, you're only aiming to get it on the green, because <laughs> those bunkers are treacherous to the left and the right and short. They're real pot bunkers, exactly what you'd expect from Lynx Golf. So it's a short par three, but you will take par every day of the week. Oh, hit it. This is a happy face. There's nowhere on earth I'd rather be right now than the back nine at Hillside in this glorious weather. The 11th hole, You've got the gorse on the left, that lovely yellow colour. You can see the sea. It's beautiful, isn't it? This is my happy place. Look at this. The holes are shaped in between the sand dunes, which makes you feel like You've got the golf course to yourself. You can't see any other golf holes right now. It is millionaire's golf. And this is what I love about this style of Lynx course. Look at it, it's all mine. Another walk back to a championship tee. The caddy will stay down there because there's not enough room for us. It's such a small tee, but that, is some view isn't it now at hillside we are very close to the water but no holes run run alongside the sea this is really the only view we get of liverpool bay that is amazing but as a golf geek for me this is even better We are heading for home now on the 17th tee. This is a 547 yard par five. It's straight, it's in front of you, but that's a tough stretch of golf hole right there. Now Hillside Golf Club is a members golf club, but you can pay to play here. What I would encourage you to do is come for a trip to this area. Hillside is sandwiched in between Royal Birkdale and Southport and Ainsdale. It's got Formby down the road, West Lanx, and also over there, is Royal Lytham and over there is Royal Liverpool. So you can come and play some open tracks. This stretch of sand belt has got some of the best golf courses in the world all next door to each other. Welcome to Tommy's Tea. This is the 18th tee here at Hillside. It's 480 yards and it's named after the guy who suggested it, Tommy Fleetwood. Now he's a local lad and he hosted the British Masters in 2019. He said, what about pushing this tee back on 18? So they listened. You've got a hell of a view. Back to the clubhouse. You've got Birkdale on this side. Tommy, he could be a course designer. Mackenzie and Herbert, I did not think you could improve Hillside Golf Club, but you have. On the 18th, we can see the sand dunes that are separating it from the 10th tee. 
it shapes it fabulous. As I said before, it looks like it's been here forever and it looks really natural. Well done, you've improved perfection. Well, you can't come to the seaside and not visit the beach. Now, there'll be no excuses because the sand here is wonderful. Yeah, I mean, when the sand's this good, you can hit the, the quality golf shot, I suppose. But look at this here. This is what I love about the Lynx Golf, the rivets on the bunkers. And you always get that consistent sand. Yeah. Felt good in front of the clubhouse as well, that. What a day and what a round. I've just walked off the 18th green at Hillside. I've got so lucky with the weather and there wasn't too much wind. For Lynx Golf, I've been very lucky. Now I'm going to head inside, speak to the guys and find out a bit more about Hillside Golf Club. I'm here with the general manager of Hillside Golf Club, Chris Williams. Tell me a little bit about the history of the golf club. Um, Hillside is relatively young uh, in relation to the, the courses along the uh, coastline here. We were formed in 1911 and it was only a nine hole course in, originally. Mm -hmm. It became 18 in, I think it was 1923. Uh, and then the course expanded in the 60s really when uh, uh, Martin Holtree's father, Fred, he redesigned the golf course and, and created what some say is one of the best back nines in Britain, if not uh, in the golfing world. We're a very inclusive club, uh, very keen to promote uh, junior golf. We've got a really very strong junior committee and, and a good junior section. And, and ladies golf as well, it's, it's an underrepresented part of the game and, and the board of directors recognise that we've had incentives. Coming round the golf club, turn around this corner, it seems quite buoyant with members. It's a really, although it's a fantastic golf course, the membership seems really strong. What type of facilities are you offering for current, new, current members and new members? I think our aim really is just to try and give the very best of what we can and do everything we can to, to its best. You know, we're not elitists, but we want to try and have elite facilities, if that makes mm. sense. You know, we're, we're a private members golf club, so every every bit of profit the club makes is ploughed back into the facilities, whether it's improving the clubhouse, building state-of-the-art indoor swing rooms, or investing massively on the golf course. Every penny gets ploughed back in so that the members have the best of what they can. I mean, personally, I'm a big fan of this top terrace. Yeah. I think this is a great place to sit and watch people come down 18. But being out on the golf course now, I've always been a huge fan of Hillside. Um, and when I was out there, it was one of those things that, can you, can you improve this? Yeah. And I came last year, saw the improvements of the first phase, and now we've got the second phase. And I really think you have, which is an incredible achievement. What were the ideas behind the redesign thought process and why now? Folks, go back, say five years, we, we did an extensive enhancement to the clubhouse, rebuilt the roof, extended the dining facilities, built this terrace that we sat on. And really we, we got to a point where we said, right, let's turn our attention to the golf course. And everybody said, oh, the golf course is fantastic. Mm -hmm. you, know, you don't need to mess around with it. But yeah. we went out to a, an architect who's Martin Ebert of Mackenzie and Ebert. And Martin really came in with a, not a blank canvas, but we just said, we want you to evaluate what we've got really and mm -hmm. make any recommendations for improvement. So the initial phases of work were, were around the front nine to try and give it some bit more drama, a bit more majesty, some of the features of the back nine where you've got the separation of holes. So we introduced these sort of June uh, areas. And it's great to hear you talking about the front nine because, you know, Greg Norman said it, best back nine in Britain. Mm. And you are an 18 hole golf course. <laughs> and, and I think now, you really get that feeling of it. It's brought the 18 holes together, definitely. And the fact that you're talking about, you know, the par three on the front nine, it's not all about the par threes on the back nine. It's a really nice changes. So where are we seeing Hillside in the future? Are these, are these changes for members or are you looking to possibly uh, get, I mean, we've had the British Masters already. Yeah. Is that something that you want to move forward with? You know, the club's ambitious, uh, but also realistic, there's a level you know, we, we say everybody would love to, love to have the Open Championship, but you need a lot of space to do that for, for all the infrastructure that goes with it, and that's never going to happen. Uh, but I certainly think the club can aspire to have the, the 
best event it can and I think it's showcasing the Masters that you know, it was an extremely successful tournament from the European Tour's point of view and, uh, and from ours. It's more really about the members to be mm -hmm. honest. Um, it's nice to have these events but you know we're not a tournament venue where we're going to have competitions every year. I think the main focus of it is just trying to give the members the maximum benefit. And, and I think you have, you've improved, I thought, on perfection, so <laughs> well done with that. Anyone that's a member here is really lucky. Thank you very much for your time, Bye Chris. Then. New for 2021 at Hillside is this amazing facility. It's like Trackman 4, you can come and get lessons from the Pro Map. You can try out latest equipment and get fitted. It's some facility. There's two rooms here. If you get a bit cold out there, you can come in here and play some indoor golf. But state-of-the-art facilities on the course and off the course here at Hillside. Now this is some view, isn't it? Out on the terrace, you could have a sundowner, watch people play down the 18th. I think that's where I'm going to leave you. I'm going to stay up here for a minute and enjoy the sights. So thank you very much for watching. This is Hillside Golf Club and this is the How Did I Do Tour. If you're ever in the area, make sure you pop down.